Well, this is just a bit of an update on um, the water pump failure. I don't know if anybody, well, if you've seen the other video anyway of this water pump that's failed, it feeds softened water up to a condenser tower or to multiple towers. But anyway, it failed and uh, I've never seen anything like it, literally melted. You see all the plastic now quite close up. All the cowl is plastic and the fan's plastic and it melts. Uh, everything had destroyed on the pump basically. Uh, not in very good condition at all. It's not that old a motor. Uh, I've never seen one go as bad as this before and I've, you know, I've worked on a fair few Luara pumps but this one uh, has just literally failed. Anyhow, uh, somebody from Ed Systems told us about he'd seen this before and suggested a bearing had possibly gone. Uh, the motor may have started up again and without the fan on because it's burnt off it, it's you know literally melted the back cowl i actually quite agree with that and i think that's a, a really good suggestion but i fitted the new one i'll go show you that in a second but um it's dead on because if you listen i don't know if you can hear this i'll try and see if you can hear it As I'm turning that, I mean, you can tell the bearings have gone. The, the, they've literally gone. So, and it does sound, it's from this end, the bearings. And this is the end what he suggested it was. So what I'm gonna do with this pump, I'm gonna take it into the workshop and I'm gonna strip it all down. Uh, and we'll have a look at it because, you know, it, I've never seen this before. And these, all right, the five, 600 quid, it's not a real expensive pump. But at the end of the day, you don't expect them to do this after a short period. And I think, I can't remember, but I think I fitted this a couple of year ago at the very most. Uh, you know, the one I've replaced it with, when I fitted this one, it had been in about 10 years. So, you know, two years isn't exactly a long time. But anyway, we'll strip it down, see, see if this is correct and see if the bearing has gone. So, well, I know the bearing's gone. And I think that'll give us the clue as to what's happened. And obviously, I think the bearing's failed, the fans flown off first, the motor's started up again without the fan on and just literally gone red hot and melted the cowl onto the back. So yeah, I'm sure that's what's happened and you can smell through the top, obviously you can't smell it, but in there, you know, in the top, in the connections, if I put my nose there, I can smell like a burning anywhere from it. So it's obviously, uh, it's had it as this thing. I'm not gonna bother trying to repair it. So anyway, that's, that's that one. For a later one, I'm gonna strip that one down. But I'll show you the, uh, the new pump I've fitted just for the hell of it. strip this one down I'll probably do that tomorrow in the workshop um, it'd be interesting to see but uh, I'd like to thank that Ed from Ed Systems who, who said he's seen these before and he has seen them fail like this and uh, I'm really glad he did because I've never seen it before and it was a bit of a mystery and a puzzle to me and I must admit I don't like uh, anything that fails on me what I can't understand because obviously you're frightened to death it's gonna do it again on you with another pump and I can't afford to be sticking three or four pumps in in uh, a, a short period like. Uh, they'll expect me to pay for the flamers. So, you know, we'll strip it down, have a look. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, bearings have failed. It's probably sparked back into life without the fan after the fan's smashed up and come off. And uh, that's the conclusion to it. So, it'll be interesting seeing it stripped down. All right, well, cheers for watching anyway. Thanks, bye.